you know, yeah, they could have uh, stumbled upon your video. Will God torment people forever? No. And, uh, earlier I had made a video about the, an answer to that. And uh, being as I'm an atheist, I really don't have an answer. But uh, if I did believe in uh, your Abrahamic God, I'd be foolish to do some of the things I've done. <laughs> For instance, I actually said that I believed in a different thing, that I didn't believe in God. I know, you're supposed to stone me. I'm sorry. And uh, you, uh, then I got lost, I guess. So I was wondering about that. If God is so omniscient and omnipotent, why would he feel the need to torment anybody, anywhere? Why doesn't he just, like, oh. get to the end? And, and uh, I tell you, not at all. <laughs> you know, you can have an answer because you're, there's no specific question or real study point. It's basically putting up scripture, scripture, and you want to discuss how it was written or why it was written the way it was. <laughs> why don't you just take it literally for exactly what it is? Fables produced by superstitious men trying to explain the universe and the goings on around them in the only way they knew how. Stupid stitiously. Superstitiously. <laughs> Don't pardon the pun. <laughs> that was totally purposeful, okay? Sorry, can't help myself. When I see the ridiculous, I feel it's at least my job or my duty to ridicule. Especially when these kind of ridiculous notions in the Bible are actually perpetuated by intelligent people. Uh, me, Bill Maher, and a few others, we call you delusional people that actually believe that this deity is real. <laughs> There's actually this superhero in the sky that's going to guide you through your what, afterlife into wherever it is, heaven, paradise, whichever your culture chooses, I don't know. Me, it's the, the old one from there is ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That pretty much explains it as far as the corporeal part of my body. But the energy... Go to the curls. The energy that makes up my ability to imagine things, to uh, do mathematics, to share, to speak with eloquence, all those things, those human traits, are things that we've developed ourselves, and I don't know what my point was. So I'm really sorry. But that, it's just a, that's a, my answer because you, 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 you I don't know why people don't want to keep trying to equate um, that very well. I don't know who you're trying to fool. I forgot what I was answering. No, I deny this shit. Anyway, yeah. if, if your God is so omnipotent and omniscient, I mean, he knows you're going to heaven. Again, why? What do you want? Why? Oh, will God torment people in hell forever? Why? I know I'm answering a question with a question, but fundies do it all the time. Usually their main uh, issue is with science. And uh, it's like, uh, okay, are you trying to tell me then that because you can't understand science or you're too stupid to figure it out that by default, God did it? Is that what they're trying to tell me? Because that's what I hear every time when they say that kind of stuff. They talk about science like it's a, a religion of its own, like we're supposed to choose all this other kind of crap. There are plenty of people out there that, that have rituals uh, uh, praising some kind of uh, an icon or deity or whatever. That's what religion is. It doesn't have to be a Catholic or Baptist. You can be by yourself and if you are like praying or anything like that, you're religion. 
because you're going through a ritual that praises that entity, therefore a religion. So anytime you pray, as soon as you pray, very minute you pray, bam, you're religion. You get it? That's simple. Why do you people think that you're so hard? I don't know. No, I do know. I'm just <laughs> that was rhetorical. I know. It's you got all these crucifixes running around, and I think some of them are like, uh, like uh, uh, shorting over, you know, arcing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good night. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. We'll see you later. Bye for now. <laughs> uh, me? Well, I'm just an earthling. But, yeah, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Why would this God create us?